Hey second graders, it's Mrs. Daniel from Citizenship Academy and today we're going to be working on drawing rectangular arrays using um, square tiles. So I have um, a square tile. Um, if we were in class, of course, you guys would all have one too. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how we would use this to draw um, an array and then I'm going to show you how to do it even if you don't have the square okay so the first step would be to trace the square tile so I'm going to show you on my paper I want to make two rows of three so I'm going to put my square tile in the top corner of my paper so the top corner gives me a straight line on the side and a straight line on top so I just have to draw the bottom line that would be straight and this line on the side okay so there's my first one and then I'm gonna slide it over line it up and I'm gonna do another one we want two rows of three so that means there's gonna be three in this row Okay, so we have one, two, three. Notice how I'm lining it up carefully. Draw my line. Okay, so I have one row of three so far. One, two, three. So then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to make my second row. Now, I'll draw this line underneath here. But looking here, I know how long my line is going to be because I can see the line that I made up here. So I could actually use this line and just bring it straight down. I could do the same here. Bring my line straight down and over straight down and over that's pretty good right so we have two rows of three there are three in each row now we're going to look at how to do this if you don't have a tile to use and you're doing it on your own without a tile okay so this time i'm going to use the whiteboard instead of the paper, it's a little easier to manage. So what I'm gonna do, and if you wanna do this, you can, is I'm gonna draw one square. Draw one square in your, in the middle of your page. Then I'm gonna try to draw another square connected about the same length. That looks pretty good. Straight down. It's not going to be perfect. It's okay. And I'm going to do another one. Straight across. Straight across. Straight down. I'm taking my time. I'm doing it careful. I'm trying to make it the same size as the one next to it. It's okay if it's a little bigger or a little smaller or the lines are a little crooked. That's okay. But and I'm going to do one more. So I'm going to have one row of one two three four one row of four and if you're trying to follow along you can do this as well if you need to pause the video that's fine and now what i'm going to do is i want to do another row and i want to make sure that my next row is the same size as this row so I'm going to use this line on the side here to start my square. And I'm going to use this line to make the other side. Okay? And then I'm just going to close the lines. And then I'm going to do that again. I already have one line of my square. And I'm going to use this line up here to help me. I'm just going to make the line a little longer. And then I'm going to close the gap. 
looking pretty good, huh? And I'm going to take this line here, and I'm going to bring it down, and I'm going to close the gap. And I'm going to take the line on the end, see this line right here? I'm going to bring it down and close the gap. So right now, I have two rows of four. Two rows of four. I wonder how yours is looking. Hey, everyone. So next we're going to do two rows of five, okay? So we're going to start with one box, one square. Remember, we're drawing this freehand. That means we're not tracing anything. If you have something you want to trace for your first box, that's fine. Um, like I said before, it's not going to be perfect. That's okay. All right, two rows of five. So I need five in one row. So I have one. So I'm going to draw my line over, over, down. Okay? There's two. We need five. Let's just draw a line over, over, and down. There's three. Four, over, and down. One, two, three, four, five. So right now I have one row of five. But I want to have two rows of five. So just like I was showing you before, use the line that they gave you, and they gave us a side line here. Bring it down. Use this line to line it up and bring it straight down. And straight across. Now I'm going to use this line to show me where to go. I'm going to come to the bottom of the line and go straight down, straight across. Come to this line, come straight down, straight across. Straight down, straight across. Straight down, straight across. Mine is not perfect, but the way I drew it, I can look and see. If I have to answer a question, I can draw it out myself. And now I can show, okay, I have two lines of five. I could count how many I have, and I can answer questions. Okay? So this is what you guys are going to work on today. Now let's look at our problem set for the day. So before I send you on your problem set, there is a question on the problem set that I want to make sure you guys know how to do. So for example, if it says three columns of two, instead of starting by making your row, you're going to start with your column. So you would still draw your first square, and then that would stand for your first column, and you would still need to draw a second one. Remember, you're taking your time, and that's going to show your, your second column. And then this third one will be for your third column. Now, there's going to be two in each column. So I'm going to come under here, and I'm going to draw. I'm going to use this as my guide and draw underneath and underneath and across. So now I have two in this column. And now I need two in this column. And remember, you're using the lines as a guide, and then you just close the gap. And now I have two in this column. So now I have three columns of two. One, two, one, two, one, two. Okay? Now I'm going to show you guys your problem set and just read through it quickly for you. Okay. So the first one says, draw without using a square tile to make an array with two rows and two rows of five. How many squares are there total? So you need to count how many squares there are total. The next question says, draw without using a square tile to make an array with four columns of three. So this one's asking you to start with your columns, four columns of three. 
how many squares are there total? So you're going to need to draw out these arrays so that you know how many squares there are total. Draw without using a square tile to make an array with three rows of four. How many squares are there total? So again, you're going to be drawing all of these out to figure out how many total squares there are. Draw without using a square tile to make an array with five columns of three. Five columns of three. How many squares are there total? In the last one, draw without using a square tile to make an array with five columns of four. Five columns of four. How many squares are there total? Okay, I think you guys are ready to go and work on your problem set. I can't wait to see how you guys do. Bye.